this is my very easy pumpkin pie uh, recipe that uh, I'm going to share. Uh, basically, I use the um, recipe on the Libby's pumpkin, canned pumpkin. Uh, then um, today I am using three jumbo eggs. I happen to have jumbo eggs, which is a larger egg than the large and extra large, so I'm only going to need three beaten instead of four. I use a deep dish pie pan that is a 10 inch pie pan. I have already uh, mixed my spices uh, and I use um, the, the, the Libby's um, direction except I, this is only three-fourths of a cup of sugar. And then I take one medium to large uh, banana and mash it up well. And then of course I only use canned uh, the carnation. I don't like other canned milk. I just don't think it's as good. And I am going to uh, omit the nutmeg because I think it makes it a little bit gritty. Now this is only my my experiment here. I'm leaving the nutmeg out, the half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So everything else that I'm doing is according to the Libby canned pumpkin except I cut the sugar in half and add the one large um, but the way I do my filling, it, my pumpkin uh, filling, I uh, take and mix up the sugar and the banana and the pumpkin and uh, I use the mixer to start out with but then when I add the milk I use a whisk instead and I scrape the sides with of course the uh, spatula. Uh, the reason for it is I don't have a high enough glass dish and once you're beating, once you add that milk and it thins it out, then it splashes everywhere. So to eliminate that and to eliminate too many bubbles and, and foaminess on the pie, once that milk is added, I just use the whisk and the spatula. So anyhow, I have this ready for the oven and I have this much left over of the pumpkin and I'm going to put a saucer over it and leave a little vent space uh, and put it in the microwave on three minutes on 50 power and then I stir it and then put it in for another one to two minutes and what you have is just like a pumpkin pudding for, with the extra so none of it's wasted. And another thing, I go with 400 degrees oven temperature and you have to keep check on it. Uh, I uh, bake it for approximately an hour because this is a deep dish uh, 10 inch um, pie pan and it takes most of a, uh, a, a the, the large can of pumpkin. It, it takes most all of it except this right here. Okay there is the leftover pumpkin filling that I put in the microwave for three minutes on 50 power and then I stirred it um, and put it in for another minute on 50 power and I stirred it and then another minute on 50 power. Now, you know, you just have to kind of um, just use your own judgment, but basically what you're trying to do is just cook the egg because everything else, you know, is no worry about. And uh, so then you can take, you can refrigerate this or eat it hot. And it's just hot pumpkin, delicious tasting stuff, even though it really doesn't look that great. But it is very tasty. It is just the, the pie filling. Okay, this is the finished product of a crustless pumpkin pie. And if it doesn't have enough sugar to suit you, you can always take and drizzle a little bit of raw honey on top. You can add, put a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg on top. Uh, also, you can add just a wee bit more cinnamon and a wee bit more ginger, like an extra fourth of a teaspoon of each in the filling so that it'll have a little bit more of a spicy flavor which is the way I like to do. I add a little bit more of cinnamon and uh, 
a little bit more of the ginger to it. So there is a very, very easy uh, crustless pumpkin pie and for people that miss having the crust, you can always have some vanilla wafers and put around the edge of the pie and that'll be a nice complimentary crunchy um, added feature to this pie but it really doesn't need that it, uh, you can add some walnuts pecans on top and it is quite delicious the way it is